Now we're going to talk about segmentation. It's a big hooty toot fancy word for can they break apart a word. So I'm going to give you an example. If I say the word cat, can they go k, a, t? Now they're not going to be able to at first because you're going to say break apart this word and they're going to look at you like you have three horns on your head. Okay, so you're going to model it for them first. And you're going to say, all right, now, and this, you only do this once they can identify beginning, middle, and ending sounds. When they can do all three rather easily, then you work on segmentation. So I will say, all right, can you break apart pig? And then I'll model it for them like this. Pig, p, e, g. If they can do that. Then give them another word, mat, and they say, mm, a, t, mat. That means you've given them a word and they can now break it apart into its three, into its three sounds. That is segmentation. So that after they can do beginning, middle, and ending sounds, you practice segmenting, breaking it apart. Now, why do we do that? We do that because when they are reading words, when they're learning to spell, if you give them the word pig, they have to be able to spell pig and they have to break up those sounds. When they are reading a word, they're not breaking it up, they're putting it together. But if they can break up a word and they can put it together, they're ready to start sounding out words. So segmentation is one of the steps, one of the pre-reading skills to be able to sound out words effectively and easily. So that's how you do segmentation. So. I'm gonna recap for you. You will be doing every, every day, doing their letter sounds. We'll be practicing rhyming and syllables and their sounds, beginning, middle, ending, whichever one they're working on. The goal is to get all three. When those, when the beginning, middle, and ending is done, then you work on segmentation. Once you have all of those, you are beget ready to start the next step in reading.